you just said you came into a team that was winning and yet the attitude that you come in with as, as a freshman I'll let you explain it more because it was your your mentality your attitude but it stood out amongst everybody yeah. not just freshmen it stood out amongst the whole team so what was the attitude you decided to have from day one as a freshman I, yeah I think that the 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 most important thing was um I and looking back now I was very very mindful that I needed to find the thing that I could be good at I didn't have this huge background in swimming. So like for me, being competitive in practice took a long, long time to do. And I could work hard, but I remember being in the water and like the Haley Pearsalls and the Adrian Benders and some of the, the, the faster women on the team at that time were just swimming laps around me. Um, and obviously the guys were too, but I remember just thinking, man, how am I supposed to keep up? How am I going to get through this? Um, and for me, my background was in running. Um, and so a huge part of the Auburn fall program at that point was running and dry land and being athletic. So I remember having these moments of thinking, okay, what can I be good at? Like, mm. how can I contribute? What's the one thing as a freshman that I can find and I can be good at? And it was easy for me because it was running and we were doing a lot of it. Um, but I remember within that time, um, we were doing – this Tour de France style of dry land. And so every week there was updates with, you know, the yellow jersey or a sprint jersey or a mountain climber jersey kind of thing. Um, and one of the things we were doing one day was like a, a two mile time trial on the track. And I remember getting on the track and right before we started, David Marsh had come up to me and said, hey, it's okay if you go fast. Like, it's okay if you show off your talents here. I remember thinking, yeah, it is okay. Um, and I didn't win the two mile time trial, but I remember building confidence from that and, and thinking, okay, this is something that I can be good at. And this is how I can contribute to the team. And the more I learned how to do that, um, I found a voice in that, like an encouraging voice and a challenging voice to the teammates. Um, and that spilled over into the things that I was doing in the pool. So once I found what I was good at, I developed some confidence in my ability to speak up and challenge others. And then I realized I can do that all the time. Like it doesn't have to just be the thing that I'm good at. I can do that even in the things that I'm bad at. Um, and there's so many freshmen out there who have such a hard time their first year because they think they stink at everything. Like they just, they can't find a place where they're being successful. It's like, you don't have to be the best at everything. Find, one thing that you can be good at you might be the best at recruiting in your freshman class or the best at underwater kicking and when you get a chance to do those things then be really good at them and build confidence in it and and then build on that and so I think that's what that freshman year was more about than anything was finding that initial positive that I could build on that's really good advice man 